All right, all right, all right. I hope it works. Cool. Um, cool. Yeah, it seems to be working. All right, welcome to Web Development School, which is cool. <laughs> and I want to know more. Yeah, I want to learn. So I teach in this web development school uh, web development, and this week we um, yeah, today we are going to learn something about responsive web layout and <clears throat> responsive web design. So the easiest way to do responsive web design is to use some kind of grid. I use in my projects this bootstrap grid system which is mobile first fluid uh, system and it scales up to 12 columns. So let's look how, how it looks like. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, we don't see the responsivity here. I have to create a project that see the page. Cool, I responsive. Okay, responsive page. I will open it with example brackets. And page HTML. Okay, to see how this bootstrap works, we to go all and we need just grid system for this responsive web design. So if we want to use just grid system from bootstrap, uh, we can do it. This details on where to download it, compile and download, which will download just uh, okay. Some config JSON and CSS. Bootstrap. I use Bootstrap min. I can post all this here. And where is the... Yeah, here is it. Call this. And we don't need this vertical split. Now, responsive. To open this page again. Ah. This it doesn't work. It's buggy. Ah, whatever. Okay, here is some script. Let me use jQuery here and link rel style sheet. I forget how to include a style sheet <laughs> again class nature nature bootstrap so we got bootstrap in our page and now we can use the grid system of bootstrap which is row And this row can contain some columns. And call SM, oh, SM6. More column. Also, I can. Right, six 
more command six. Then we can yeah, just to look at the documentation here. Grid. What kind of uh, CSS classes? So XS is for extra small devices, small it's, it's phones. Here SM is for small tablets and mobile devices. Uh, no tablets. And here medium it's for uh, desktops and LG for large desktops. Yeah, sorry. Uh, so SM, we have some SM. So I say this to see. Nope. This must have left behind for beginners. So we can see that this very small column is half of the page wide and the second column is also half of the page small cool let's add some some other columns mm, no we need to add row because one one row can contain just uh, 12 columns so let's say xs xs four small four and maybe also xs xs four 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 Now, somehow uh, we do okay. Now, this small column collapses when when we are on tablet ties. And this excess columns needs to be resized. No, it it works for on mobile devices, so it's not not resized. So excess columns are not changed, but these small columns you can see that they are they are changed. Maybe if mm -hmm. maybe if I do something like this, let's try it. Small column, and if there are more small columns, so they are. <laughs> Put mm, like this. <laughs> okay. Where is it? So let's wrap medium devices. So it's good to know that use this. Call XS if you want to design your uh, web page for mobile phones, mobile devices, mobile devices, and this SM is for tablets. Now let's try this call MD. Call MD. Maybe it's just uh, two columns will be enough. 
it's better to demonstrate call md md which is medium and let's try to resize the window and refresh you can see that small columns are beside and if I resize it to resize it to smaller size they collapse and if I try to resize it more we can see medium column is here and another is beside beside the second beside the first and if I resize a bit window this is medium size of the screen and I can see that medium column is collapsed so MD yeah, window no document with no I don't remember how it was mm. yeah. nope. most of the time I I use call SM So it's uh, it depends on on the situation. <laughs> if you need, if you have white co content and you need <coughs> to collapse content on uh, tablets, you use you can use medium commands. So you can see that collapses and small columns collapses on smaller size of the screen small and medium and also maybe this large devices just for for large desktop. Hello. Okay, this was just a grid. There is another grid, CS grid, that you can use, or some CS tricked pure grid, mm. and so on. Yeah, this this grid was popular. I don't know if it's popular. Is still popular, but this was quite a good grid system. Um, there is some documentation. Mm. Right, it's weird. I don't want to download. Right, it looks like like it's it's quite old. Uh, CS streets, eight columns. Ooh. And you can also create your own grid system. But I I would use existing grids. And pure CS is also some. Some CSS framework like like Bootstrap, um, but I use this this grid Bootstrap grid, which is cool. Fluid <clears throat> mm, container, mobile on desktop. Okay, so let's try this example to see what it does. It 
it looks much better. So I can resize the window to see what what's happening. Call MD. If I resize it to uh, tablet size, we call MD are stacked like this and XS and call MD. What's happening? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it tells that column XS should be six columns wide, like this and this, and also this. You see. And uh, so call XS6, which is a mobile devices, and whoop, this call MD is on medium devices, which is, uh, come on, go, mm -hmm. which is quite weird, so, call XS6, call XS6, mm. Interesting. <laughs> okay, this was just about grid system. So you can use XS and XM in all medium. And I use this bootstrap uh, grid system. So you can use, well, for example, this is a grid system, but it's The grid IO maybe or you can use whatever grid system you like. You maybe don't like this uh, bootstrap come on some generator hmm? Yeah you can see the section group spawn one of three one, one of three, one of three. This is quite a semantic. Uh, so you can use this responsive grid system. One of two, one of two. Wow. And a lot of sides is using it. Ooh. Video. All right, let's move. CSS responsive CSS. See the responsive intro, for example, on the we W three schools. And yeah, responsive web design media queries. So this is introduction to responsive web design. And I didn't mention that responsive web design is to create websites that look good on all devices, mobile, desktop, and <laughs> tablets. Maybe. We can design some some kind of useful useful thing. For example, we can have a menu on the left and content beside the menu. So. Uh, Remove this and the menu 
yeah it will be call as m call as m i will use four commands so this will be some kind of menu and i can see just some list Oop. One, two, three, or navigation, whatever, whatever, uh, and call SM, SM, it will be eight because four plus eight is twelve, and this grid system is. 12 commands. So, some content here. You are not some. Now, oh, where is it? Here, is it? here. Now we can see some menu. <clears throat> and I, I don't know if this grid system has container. But let's try it. Hopefully it has. Oh, oh, yeah. But the container should be outside the row. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Define this div. So the container just centers the page and row. Yeah. So now if I resize the window, you can see that on tablet it looks it has menu on, on the side. And now mobile devices menu is on the top and content is after the menu which is what, what we want exactly okay hmm what's next yeah the good thing is To combine, we can use row inside another row or inside column. So here we can use div uh, class who, for example, it will be yeah, medium, medium size, call and D. Four, no six, will be half and half. Second half, cool. Now in desktop, I can see first half and second half. And if I resize the window. Smaller size, yeah. So inside the content, this first half and second half is stacked. All right. Yeah, <laughs> dispositive here. Yeah, they tell that you can use Bootstrap too, which is cool. But I wanted to show you this this media query. 
media on my screen and let's see let's try this inside the page style sheets mm, okay so this media tells only screen and max width 50 pixels let's try what it ha what it does nothing max mm -hmm. so if if the size of the screen will be less than 50 uh, 500 pixels background color will change now it's less the wide width of window is less than 500 pixels it's maximum 500 pixels and if it's more than 500 pixels it doesn't apply <clears throat> and there are some breakpoints they are they are called breakpoints Mm -hmm. So when the screen browser gets more than 768 pixels, they have some column system. Mm, that's width. Yeah. So we can change this seven here. And now you can see that the red color will be like this. And there are breakpoints for mobile devices and tablets and so on. And yeah, there are some media queries for standard devices which tables oh also ipads you can see that you can filter min min device with a max device with also some pixel ratio but it's a bit advanced stuff for front end developers Laptops, there yeah, main device with one uh, one thousand two hundred pixels, Ooh. and phones, iPhones, portrait land, landscape, portrait landscape. So you can you can find uh, see the breakpoints here. Let's play with it. Portrait and landscape, landscape, phone. It's good to put comments inside your CSS. So this uh, this style sheet only applies if what? Uh -huh, okay. Only applies uh, when device width is minimum 320 pixels and maximum 480 pixels blah 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 ratio I don't know what, what it is but whatever hmm. now let's say h1 should have black color or Mm. Aqua. <laughs> this is just an example. If I resize it now, if it has red background, and if I resize it to mobile size, well, which is not possible, but I can simulate. Here on developer tools, we can simulate 
device model and for iPad wow change what uh, <laughs> okay this is how it works on Apple iPad mm, Lexus which is three hundred eighty four to five hundred sixty seven Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay, you might reload the page. Library devices, I picked iPhone 4. So, this is how we can debug, uh, debug the web page or web application on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and now we go to the CCC. That's me. <laughs> yeah, that, that was that was grid system and media queries, which is I think the most important thing in web responsive web design. So you can design web pages uh, for tablet, ta tablets, laptops, and phones with break breakpoints. Uh, where? Yeah, here. So the best practice is. And maybe you don't need a device specific reports, but most of the time you will use smartphone portrait and landscape or smartphones landscape, which is minimum with this one. Smartphones portraits, also iPads, the free. Wow, this is this is crazy. Ah. <laughs> this is why I don't want to be a front end web developer. Yeah, this is crazy. <clears throat> but yeah, the main thing, the most important thing is to know and understand these, these viewports. Mm, now to choose breakpoints. Mm -hmm. From design from mobile to yeah, and this is a thing you can also export and uh, import uh, files like this, so we can create a CSS new CSS. Mobile CSS. Also, we can create mm, no desktop. Tablet CSS. So, and now. We can import it with MediaMax with 
uh, mobile and the viewport maybe max width 60 640 pixels cool so this is for mobile and the land uh, tablet win with this one and max weight which I don't remember do, 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 do. media query for tablets will be 124 124 pixels this should work mm, hopefully Right. Close it. I can tell that for example body will have the ground color black and color will be blue um, white text color also I can tell that tablet will have body color blue or at least blue it's cool and Fire brick. <laughs> okay, let's try this. No. Wow. Okay, it has red color. But yeah, let's remove this this media or just comment it. Now we can see uh, that uh, this tablet style is applied on this blue color and the Dodge Blue, Dodge Blue <coughs> font. And if I resize the window even more, the background color will be black. Yeah, and <laughs> and the text color is white. So this is how the web page can look like on mobile devices and tablets and this is how it looks like on desktop. <laughs> but this is just for um, demonstration these colors. You usually don't want to change colors but maybe width of elements like this position of elements and so on hmm. okay I can create another um, ooh, desktop desktop CSS and let's create some some button mm. 
Mm. No container, okay. Side button, maybe, yeah. Mm, yeah, some button. Okay, and this side button will be can be on desktop. Yeah, we have to include this uh, CLS. So first, can be yeah. I will do it like this because we can override this mobile. Uh, no. Yeah, so first style is applied. This first, this second, and this third. Now we want to decide that we want to override. Usually desktop is loaded first, I think. Desktop and we don't need or yeah. that will mean we to be look five pixels. Okay. So for desktop, it will be this button, side button, A. Can be position fixed. Left uh, view top can be four percent. Try this. Hmm. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Position fixed. Side. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe wrong. No. Let's go see this. Oh, 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 oh. Desktop. Desktop. Yeah, bad name. Hmm. Wow. Oh, yeah. Works. Was weird. No. And the style is applied. Okay. Or I will put it no one now at bottom. Bottom will be zero and left can be four pixels. Cool. And I can add some, yeah. Support pixels and background. Gray. Example. And to set height, we have to set. Ooh. Display. Block. Okay, let's save it. Ooh. Okay, some more desktop. 
it as some button here which is quite ugly but whatever <laughs> and on <clears throat> on this uh, here on mobile this some button is here and on tablet it's also some button here but it can be also on tablet uh, and I don't want to know how to do it I would create some <laughs> CSS for desktop and tablet like this Take the desktop. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> and I can put this come on this button from desktop to tablet desktop file. And also, I have to include it <coughs> here. Min width, uh, <coughs> min width, this will be this. Yeah. Okay. Now it's shown also on tablet, this button. And uh, mobile it's here because it doesn't have some any style cool <laughs> yeah I think this was everything what I what I want to show you so the grid system some row Row can contain or columns can contain another rows. First half and second half, for example. And the <clears throat> yeah, media media queries, which you can also uh, use like this media only screen in your CSS or Better way is to divide this style to multiple files, multiple files, and uh, tell that this style this style will be loaded for desktop, this style will be loaded for tablet and desktop, and this style sheet will be loaded on uh, just for tablets. And this style will be only for mobiles. And you can have some common, yeah, usually you have some common CSS where you write common CSS for, for mobile desktop and tablets. So that was. Ooh, Laravel. <laughs> no, I didn't use Laravel. I used like PHP framework. Uh, I didn't like PHP. <laughs> but this this stream was about responsive web design, for, mainly for front end developers that don't use uh, some backend languages they use just <coughs> CSS, JavaScript and HTML. And yeah, the responsive design is fun. Responsive web design. The, the funniest part is to develop for 
or uh, <laughs> some devices you can see that there is a uh, quite quite a lot of devices and you might find that something doesn't work you can also wow zoom it hmm. I don't know exactly how this works <laughs> but this is cool that you can simulate iPhones for example Nexus here Whoa! <laughs> Cool. Right. That's all. That's all. That's all about responsive web design is about. Hopefully. I didn't work as a front-end developer for two years. Yeah. And what I learned was just this. But I think it's it's enough to know. The cleaner breakpoints when needed. Yeah, I think it's it's all. Yeah, also we can hide content. Bootstrap. I will show you how we can hide stuff with, with Bootstrap. Oh, come on. Create system. And. Sample. And also offsetting commands is interesting stuff. But where is it? Uh-huh. <coughs> Well, I don't know where it was. Good options. Mm -hmm. Okay, I I can find it. Mm -hmm. I don't know about. Visible. Uh -huh. yeah. So, for example, I want to. For example, I want to hide this button on desktop or, or mobile. So side button, okay. And I just maybe I have two choices. I can hide it here in, in mobile CSS, or simple thing would be what was that hidden access? Hidden access. So it's hidden on extra small devices. Good. It's visible, visible, visible. No, <laughs> it doesn't work because but, yeah, responsive utilities. Mm. 
work for some reason doesn't work um, some button should be it should be him hmm. and it seems that Nothing like a hidden excess here. Maybe we don't have it in our bootstrap CSS. Hmm. Helper classes. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. No, 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 we don't have it. So I would have to download this responsive utilities. But here, customize and. Whoa. Yeah, this responsive utilities. But it would work. I have just uh, bootstrap grid included. Okay, if you have questions, you can ask. So I haven't worked with Laravel. I work with Meteor JS as a full stack developer. Well, if you have, if you don't have questions, I will put this video on YouTube on channel Codermania. And playlist web development school where it's quite a lot of videos. You can learn from videos, for example, JavaScript, difference between web pages and web applications, okay, JavaScript, some HTML, CSS, and here is also some video responsive with web design with Bootstrap 3, responsive HTML, jQuery and Bash, Meteor.js, and so on. So this video will be available in this playlist. You can watch it also later. Cool. I hope you learned something useful and uh, you can join this web development school on Codermania if you study group and this web development school and you can see the curriculum and there are videos for each each lesson each week mm, yeah, I wanted to cover MySQL and some object-oriented programming also grant called power but I don't know if, it, if I will have time for it yeah maybe some PHP variables and so on yeah cool It was all for today. Ask or I will go to sleep.
maybe you don't have questions <laughs> now now you join when I end this session now <laughs> there's nothing to see here <laughs> and at the end so if you don't have questions bye and enjoy the rest of the day <clears throat> Whoa, what is this? Mm -hmm. What is this? Oh. <laughs> okay, you have one minute to ask questions about responsive web design. And then I will stop the stream. <laughs> you have unique opportunity. You joined. Yeah. Twenty five seconds. No questions. Yeah, and don't be afraid to ask me anything or suggest a topic what you would want to see. Like Something from HTML, CSS, JavaScript, or jQuery, or even Meteor. Cool. Time's up. And if you need, <laughs> don't forget to donate if you learn something useful. And if you need help with something, you can contact me, <clears throat> and maybe I can help you with some HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery, and Meteor. Cool. So goodbye and have a nice day or night. For Slovak people, ciao, ciao, ahoj, ciao.